Well, the new season of The Real Housewives of New York City is being called their best ever. And one of the most compelling storylines is Bethany Frankel's serious health scare. She was having severe pain, severe bleeding, and she had absolutely no idea why. Our Lauren Zima is the first to sit down with Bethany at her home. Now the doctors have finally figured out what was causing her medical crisis. Something felt off. I just felt like I wasn't balanced. I had really bad cramps, really bad pain, and was kind of experiencing bleeding again. And I went to the doctor, and they said that I had cysts and fibroids. I have to go to, I have to do a surgery. Oh but it's like three days in the hospital. Bethany reveals to ET exactly what's behind her recent health scare. After becoming anemic and losing 10% of her blood, she underwent surgery to remove several fibroids. First, he said that my uterus grew. 50%. The fibroids are growing so fast that it's like having a baby in there. And he's not an alarmist, so no. he was freaking me out. He was like, this is a lot of blood. He's like, you're bleeding a lot. And he said, you have to have a living will, and where will your daughter be at that time? And you'll be in the hospital for three days. And I'm like, what? I never even heard of this. I mean, he said a lot of people have fibroids, but they don't grow at this pace. What was the single scariest moment of it for you? The surgery gave me a lot of anxiety, and it never would have if I weren't a mother. It just really was different. You don't like to hear, like, do you have a living will? You start to think about all these crazy things. How much do you think she understood of what was going on? She knew something was sort of wrong. She said, is that going to stop your bleeding? Yeah. So she understood. The mother of six-year-old Bryn has always been open about women's health issues, talking about her own miscarriage on her talk show in 2012. It's not really about me and not my experience. It's kind of just about being able to talk about it and women knowing that it's so common and it's not their fault. Right. I had a miscarriage, which I now think is because of the fibroids, which were growing. That was a really bad time. And um, I think it's the same thing with the fibroids. It's, such, it's, it's so common and people don't talk about it. People will talk about money. People will talk on TV about their sex life. They'll talk about infidelity, everything. People don't yeah. talk about female issues. Are you okay? I don't know. I won't see you tomorrow morning. How did you get through that? Some of the girls on the show were so surprisingly supportive. Carol and Ramona and Dorinda were very, very kind. What are you still dealing with today? Just making sure that I've healed. I have to go back for my next checkup to make sure that everything's sort of back together. It's nothing I can really see, so I don't really know. And people say that I look better. I've lost weight, so that's maybe not the best. People start commenting on that, but I did, so I understand why they're saying that. Are you sick of those comments? No, it's, I'm used to it. Don't hate the player, hate the game. It's part <laughs> of it, you know?